Welcome once again to the life of Dion, where we uh, we are, f are watching the next stage in evolution for what was once the Cytheridon. Years of harsh fighting with the land sharks and other predators in the foothills had made uh, had left only the hardiest of Cytheridon alive. Those that were armored, spiked, and more ready for battle. It had grown armor on several spots on its uh, body, and even uh, its uh, bright, bulbous, uh, luminescent uh, back growth had dissolved into a armored variant of crystals. And so, a new stage came to it, and the Cytheridon came to be. Hmm, let us think, what would be a good name for this? So it developed uh, faster feet, more capable speed, and sharper claws, armor. Mm, the armor. Uh, arm. Uh, armor side there, though. Almost Cytheridon. Yeah, that could be a creature. I like it. So yes, the Almost Cytheridon began its new, uh, its new life and its new nest. Away from the bloody foothills is a bloody mountain base as it had known before. To a hopefully more peaceful existence in uh, the foothills. So yeah, we are looking fierce. Fierce and cool. Alrighty then. Let's gather our little posse. And let's grab more. Oh dear, that's it. There's something big as well. Zuron. So yes, this was truly walking amongst giants uh, in these in these ter territories. Yes, we're now a little bit better dancers. Right, full posse. Let's see if we can. Uh, Explore, ooh. Uh oh! An epic Azuron. Yeah, I made that, but I did not make it epic. Giant's blue alien. Let's stay away from there. These creatures are friendly, or at least not hostile. Alright, so what do we have here? Konok, very hostile. So I think, uh, I don't know, we could keep on hunting. But I think if possible, Xanadu, also hostile and stupid looking. Yeah, stupid. Just like the movie. Ooh, there are bones over there, so let's travel over there. Hmm. Oh, that is one of mine. Ducko dial. And there's that other creature that killed us so much. So I think it might be handy to befriend things near such giants that we cannot defeat. Okay, we're not great singers, so that's... Uh. So yes, these are all better dancers, but we are in a bigger group, so that helps. And we can do that, so I guess we'll just charm. Oh, well, that was enough. Ooh, cool feet. If 
we can grab this duck on our loan, we could impress it. But I don't think we got much of a shot with that. Oh well, hopefully future stages of God damn it, there's another big one. So so careful. Even the mighty armored Cytherodon had to be. Or armor Cytherodon. So what are these? Very angry. I guess we'll go back to the Duckodiles. The thing is, I don't think we can impress them in groups, but maybe we can. Yes, this one we can grab alone. Yes! Aha! Mass singing will beat it! Our horde is impressive! Crestosarian, I think we would want that, yes. I'm so scared of that thing. <laughs> yeah, that's too close. Alright, while he's busy murdering the stupid ducks, the armor Cytherodon sneaks around, working to grab these parts that it could not. God damn it, why is it after me again? See no other choice. This thing had to die. How? So sadly, the first uh, generation armor of Cytherodon was slaughtered by the uh, epic weird creature, as my game immediately crashed and I had not saved since making the armor Cytherodon completely yet. So that one's lost, sadly. So we have a slightly different version of the armor Cytherodon. Not as good as last one, but uh, it'll do until the next step in evolution. So that's one alpha with us. Now let's take a few more. And one last one, you. Okay, let us go explore. As uh, well, have to do that again. As the bone parts we found were lost as well. This is sad. Do we need to eat? Now uh, let's grab a bit of fruit while we're here. Good. Let's explore. Ah, here are the duck files. We can begin with them again. I hope we don't get eaten by that giant thing again. What is that actually? Epic something stupid. We can't do that, but we can sing. Yay! All right, well, now that it's far away, let's go grab quickly grab these bone parts. Oh, there it is! It comes again. Damn it all! Okay, let's run away now. Backwards. Aha! We have feet going both ways, you see? Let's see if we can impress this duck thing. Oh god damn it, are you ruining everything again? I 
we should just get all the ranged weapons we can and start shooting this thing in large pack before we achieve sentience. So look, it just, it's just intent on killing us. Yeah, go harass some of these other species, why don't you? Just keep running. Frog monsters. What a weird sound we're hearing. Birdies. Why am I hearing alien radio? Wait. And so, even in these ancient times, we found strange archaeological signs that there may have always been more than we just reappear. So, suddenly a UFO here. Wish we could get bonuses for that. And they're fighting, I don't know why. So, we are just gonna explore. What are these? They're very aggressive. Oh, they want to fight. Okay, then. You want to fight? Well, you'll get it. Uh, once I press the right button. We are hungry anyway. Just can't be peaceful anymore these days. Right, so these things want to die, apparently. Oh yeah, simple creatures. Murder this bugs. I mean, the armor sat there and finally found the weaker prey for a change. Right, let's grab the alpha. So, let's see. Uh, limbos. Those are okay. I guess these are just fighting amongst each other. Well, they're silly creatures anyway. Ah, here are the frog monsters. I like those. Let's make friends with the frog monsters. Or try to, at least. Ooh, they look impressive. Yeah, they're better singers. I think, at this point, the armor Cytheridon realize if we need to develop a more social structure to handle the challenge of this these foothills the strange pieces they found to play around with that inspired them as well let's go with one more evolution this episode Ooh, look at how sexy yeah the sexy I friend Sorum did its mating dance shaking its mighty tail So I think with the strange pieces we found, we are, uh, I think it's time to start developing some actual grasping limbs. So moving more upward. Let's see if we can make it reasonably stand up. So these uh, 
would be. Can we make them thicker or something? No. I guess they did need to be turned around. And these became the first actual grasping claws that this creature yields. Oh, we have these. Hmm. I think this is closest to uh, the claws that uh, it has. This one down a little bit, and this little thing down a little bit. And these go. So what do these do? Can I pose with them? No, I can just strike. Honestly, these are not that good what we need, but they are graspers, so I guess that makes sense. It's that or this, but I don't think this looks too much like a... Well, it could be. Honestly, yeah, maybe we'll just, just go with this. We can at least imitate the basic posing that it did. Oh, I uh, need to make these much smaller. No, and these can be larger, I guess. Sadly, we didn't get in much in the way of uh, posing hands. I guess this is the best we can do. Let's upward again a bit. Yeah, not exactly what I'd like for a first uh, set of claws. But it is the best we got right now. Yeah, I guess these are the little toes of the thing. I would have liked a, th a fourth thumb or something for, to represent the back there, but there we are. These become a little bit smaller. Okay, and we actually have a lot of points left now. So let's see what else uh, would really would develop on this creature. Oh yeah, the back thing becoming more shiny. More in his going self. Yeah, that makes sense. This was one still electrical, nice electrical thing. We can make it a little bit of a nice, impressive looking shiny bony part. And let's see, what else do we got left? Um, I really would like, well, maybe if I, wait, wait a second, wait a second, if I remove these. Ooh, I just need two more, two more points for a nice little uh, serratation. Oh well. That's not in the cards, I guess. Let's get back on its hat. I see no reason to default, as it's kind of a mating thing of this creature. Anything else we can improve upon? Can we get better? Yes, we can set, get a better set of feet now. Back feet, at least. So yeah, so it develops its uh, frontal legs into more claw-like things and back legs into better stepping feet. I definitely think they should be like a spun as there we go. It should make them, yeah. Better dancers. Uh, let's move this a little bit forward to get it a bit better balance. And there, a new species was born. What shall we call this one? I 
Uh, hmm, let's first paint it before we make a decision on what this life form would be. I still like this paint scheme for it. Hmm, maybe a bit something on the side. Oh, wait, no, 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 that was not what I was going for. I want a piece. Painting, there we go. Uh, coats. Oh, that's the main coat. Oh, well, that should be more armored as well, anyway, more scaled. That looks good. So is it base codes? Is that uh Yeah, okay, so it's base codes is gonna be orangey. At least I think. Yeah. Uh, what would be the most armored scaled looking of this bunch? this one and let's just make it a nicer darker orange yeah that works all right I like this I also think its eyes would grow bigger as it tries to develop more social abilities. Alright, I think we got a, a new creature name. Um, Amor Sithra. I like it. The Amor Sithra of Gian. Finally, we can pose and grass things. Very good, now we can grab our fruit from the trees. Let us do that. For the first time we're not rustling it out. Yeah, such an advantage. And next time we'll explore this new life on two legs. We have learned these creatures. So until then, on the next life of Jian, we'll enter the final stages in the evolutionary path of the uh, Amora Sitheran. Till then.